going to show you guys how to use uh, the Prot script Ricardo created to normalize the duration uh, in your sentences. So, uh, in, this, uh, in my example, I have four sentences with targeted verbs, and I want to make sure that the duration is the same across all of my targeted verbs here, read, open, eat, drink, and that the duration of the carrier phrase before that is also the same across all four sentences. And so, the first thing I want to do then is... find those stimuli that I want to use. So I'm going to go to the, the list of all of my segmented stimuli and the four that I want to use are right here. I select those and I'm just going to make a copy because I don't want to um, move those originals. And I have created another folder specifically where I'm going to be editing, uh, normalizing these. So I'm going to make a new folder in here which is the which ones. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste those four sentences in here. And so, um, I go ahead and if you open up this, this prod script, the only thing we have to change, just like when we're changing for the segmentation script, is the um, directory that you're going to read from and the directory that you want to save the stimuli to. So like before, we want to open up terminal. We go to the location, just drag this folder into terminal, and it's going to give you the directory path. And we want to make sure that we go through and delete that space at the end and any forward slashes which are inserted wherever there's a space in your directory path because those are going to mess up the prod script and it won't run correctly. And so after I've done that, I can just take this directory path, copy it, and then paste that in the prod script. And then I'm going to paste that same directory path into the place where I want to save my new normal when it's going to put the, the, the product of what we're doing. And I'm going to make a new folder here at the end called normalized. And so I need to make sure I go back into this folder and create it. So now once the um, product goes through and grabs these four sentences and normalizes them, it's going to dump the, the products up in this folder right here. Okay, and so I'm just going to go and click run. Okay. And so it's paused right now and I want to go through this text grid here and I want to make the two boundaries that I had shown you earlier at the beginning. So the one boundary containing the carrier phrase and the second boundary carrying the target verb. So I want to make sure right now it shows you here we have two boundaries created. So I want to take this blue boundary right here and I want to move it to about the beginning of the word, the target verb here so that I have the boundary with the carrier phrase and then the boundary with the target word. And I turned on um, the settings so that it would show formants, it would show the pitch, and it would show the spectrogram. It kind of helped me best find, because it can get tricky trying to find boundaries between words when they start to run together. In this case, it's a pretty clear example. Um, it's pretty easy to tell where the target verb is. And basically then, this process just involves, you know, playing around with these boundaries and trying to find uh, the right beginning and ending points. So I can just click here to listen to it. Drink. 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 Which one can you? And so it sounds. This sound pretty good. I want to make sure that I um, start my boundary at the very beginning of that target word. And then when I'm done, all I do is hit close out the window, and then click continue, and it's going to bring up the sound wave for the second sound, my second sentence. And so I want to go ahead and let's find the beginning of. Can you eat? This verb here, eat. Eat, 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 eat. Eat. Eat, 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 eat. Which one can you, which one can you eat? Okay, I think that's pretty good there. So I can go ahead and close this out and click continue. I'm going to go to my third sentence now.
Open, open. Open, oh, open. Which one can you, which one can you open? Okay, and that sounds pretty good right there. And now to the last sentence. You read. You read. So this is a pretty good instant example here now where there is no uh, pretty clear boundary um, just based off of the, the sound waves up here. So this is where you kind of want to rely more on the uh, spectrogram here. Read. 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 Which one can you... Which one can you read? Read. So you can kind of see here there's a good boundary where. Read. Read. Which one can you. Which one can you. Read. Read. Which one can you. Read. 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 You can see that um, the formants here for the. the vowels start to fall off and it's a pretty good indication there that that's the end of U and the beginning of the R. So I'm just trying to move this over. Read, 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 read. which one can you, which one can you read, read. Okay, so I think that I found a pretty good boundary there and I'm going to go ahead and close this. And now I just want to hit continue again. The script is going to run a few times, and now if I go back to that original window... Here were my original four original sentences, and now in that normalized folder I have the four sentences that are all normalized. So I can play those. Which one can you drink? Which one can you eat? Which one can you open? Which one can you read? And so it's pretty noticeable difference here between eat and open. So eat is pretty <laughs> short and open is pretty long. So it made eat it lengthened the duration of eat and it shortened the duration of open so that they're um, the same. Which one can you eat? Which one can you open? And so um, now I have those, uh, the. Um, now the now my uh, four auditory stimuli are all standardized now for the duration of the carrier phrase uh, and then the target verb. And if I click on this right here, on the mean, it'll show you the uh, average duration for the carrier phrase, the which one can you, and then the target verb, eat. And so I can actually open up. my sound wave and if I take this interval right here and copy that I can go select move cursor to and paste that time and right here which one can you drink drink and that's the boundary of where it separated those two durations and that's how you can go through now and check for all of your stimuli that um, the durations they fell in a good place. Just open each one up and prot. Open up the sound wave. Then you click select and move your cursor to, and you just put that first duration, and that's going to be where it cut off. Which one? Which came one in. can you? And then started the e. 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 And that's it.